Yeshayahu, Isaiah part 58. Cry aloud, do not spare. Lift up your voice like a ram's horn. Declare to my people their transgression and the house of Yaakov their sins. Yet they seek me day by day and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the right ruling of their Elohim. They ask of me rulings of righteousness. They delight in drawing near to Elohim. Why have we fasted, and you have not seen? Why have we afflicted our beings, and you took no note? Look in the day of your fasting. You find pleasure, and drive on all your labours. Look, you fast for strife and contention and to strife with the fist of wickedness. You do not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. Is it a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his being? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush and to spread out sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast? and an acceptable day to Yahweh? Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To loosen the, the tight cords of wickedness, to undo the bands of the yoke, to exempt the oppressed and to break off every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out when you see the naked and cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh then your light would break forth like the morning your healing spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you the esteem of Yahweh would be your rear guard then when you call Yahweh would answer when you cry, he would say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger and the speaking of unrighteousness, if you extend your being to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted being, then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness be as noon. Then Yahweh would guide you continually and satisfy your being in drought and strengthen your bones and you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail and those from among you shall build the old waste places you shall raise up the foundations of many generations and you would be called the repairer of the breach the restorer of streets to dwell in if you do turn back your foot from the Shabbat, from doing your pleasure on my Kodesh day, and shall call the Shabbat a delight, the Kodesh, the Kadosh of Yahweh esteemed, and shall esteem it, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in Yahweh and I shall cause you to ride on the heights of the earth and feed you with the inheritance of Yaakov, your father. For the mouth of Yahweh has spoken.